So, Zelly J is a terminal multiplexer written on Rust, and it totally shines for its easiness of use. Running it out of box already, without any modification and configuration whatsoever. And everything is crystal clear since minute 1, which is rarely the case for such software. So on the bottom we have our control panel, and we only need to follow the shortcuts. For example, Ctrl P, to get on panel option, and then we are presented with a new set of instructions. R, for right. And there we go! We have our first splitter and a new pane indeed. And enter, to select the pane and exit the editing mode. And notice all the coloring that helps us to identify the current state, and plan our next move. Which it wasn't to lock the interface, but hopefully with practice you won't do such mistakes. But if you keep doing typos, I reckon do not waste your time on such programs. Some people just have the gift, and you may aren't one of those. So after the embarrassing moment I couldn't unlock it, at the same time I was explaining how easy it is to use it, we can do Ctrl and R and resize it with the arrows. With Alt and brackets we can navigate between paints, and we also have some handy shortcuts. For example, with Alt and N we can directly open a new pane, without going to pane edit mode. And with the same logic we can also manage our tabs, which is particularly useful if we use terminals like Alacrity that don't have any GUI. So, Ctrl and T to enter on tabs mode, and then in for new. So now we have a second tab as we wished for, and if we enter again on tabs mode, we can switch between tabs with arrows. And that's all for now, and for more just go and read Zelly J official page on GitHub. Because next we have the moment you were all waiting for. You're subscribing and baby Wogue is finally paying off! So you're late for work? All you need to say is that Chino didn't wake you up. Just picture your boss asking who's Chino. 100% totally worth it sucking. I wanna be honest, I wanna be bad, I wanna destroy you, I wanna move fast, I want the So I bet you have pinged Google at least once in your lifetime, to see what's up with your internet. But there is a better way, which in reality is much worse, which is what actually makes it better. So what you can do instead, is to run gping. And here we go! We have a graph for our ping. For that one single time in our life we gonna run it. But those are the small details that make life precious. And besides, we can do a comparison. Google, versus Gnome, versus Ubuntu, versus KDE. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Eat some Gnome dust, losers! But originally I wanted to cover these mutter patches that are now merged on main. Basically they reduce the input latency on Wayland session, so I wanted to make some metrics before and after, on Wayland and on X, and also compare between GTK3 and GTK4 apps. But my NVIDIA is giving me some no sense values, so I'm holding that for now. But basically we have our keyboard, and our processing unit, like a box or something. And then we have a screen most often. So when we press a key, the event goes to Linux kernel, and then it feeds Wayland, and then it does something in our screen like painting a pixel or something. That last process should be now faster, 